Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own material design icons. Now Google's material design guidelines have done a great job of making Android apps a lot more consistent in terms of design. Pretty much every app you install these days has an action bar at the top, color matching status bar, side navigation menu, and a floating action button, which is all great for user experience. But material design lines extend beyond just the app's main interface. For example, there's even a set of standards for the proper size, padding, and shape of home screen icons. And this is where Android apps still fall short. Aside from just the shape, the actual size of your home screen icons can vary quite a bit. And if you're meticulous about the way things look, this can be really irritating. So developer OXO created an app to fix these issues. And it basically lets you wrap any icon in a proper material design template, then adds it right to your home screen. The app itself is called Materialize, and it's available for free on the Google Play Store. So search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial. Now when you open Materialize, you'll see a list of most apps you have installed on your phone. The only exceptions here are the Google apps, which already use Material Design for their icons, and your pre-installed system apps, which should also be using Material Design. However, if you'd like to theme a system app icon anyway, you can tap the three dot menu button at the top of the screen, then tick the box next to system apps if you'd like. But to make your first Material Design icon, start by selecting any app from the list. Personally, I've noticed that the Netflix icon is one of the worst offenders, so I'll go with that. From here, the app will have already generated a simple square icon with rounded corners. But if you think any of these other shapes would fit better, you could just select it here at the top of the screen. Then, after you've found the right shape, you can adjust the padding with the slider. This is basically zooming the icon in and out of that material design frame. After that, if there's any empty space left over, you can have it auto-fill by finding the primary icon color, or you can fill it in with white. Then, if you have a launcher that supports icon packs, you can actually export this as an image, which you can then apply as a makeshift icon pack. If you want to do that, just tap the three dot menu button at the bottom of the screen, then pick export to gallery, which is a really handy feature. But when you're ready to add your new icon to your home screen, just tap the add to home button in the bottom right corner, and it'll instantly appear on your launcher. Now I lined these icons up so that you can see the before and after. The old Netflix icon is way bigger than the rest because all the others were actually using material designs to begin with. But now with my materialized icon, Netflix is the same exact size as the rest of them. So I've finally got some consistency going. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on gadgethacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.